Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Super Bowl will be a no drone zone. Pipistrelle and Honeywell collaborate on aircraft technologies for urban air mobility and drone reportedly flying near New Jersey Airport. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Skylar Vanell. If you were thinking about flying a drone near the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, well, you might want to think again. This year, the Super Bowl will be a no-drone zone. The FAA will establish airspace restrictions affecting UAS operations January 31st to February 3rd from 10 a.m. to midnight. UAS operators who do not comply with the airspace restrictions are warned that pursuant to 18 U.S.C. Section 3056A, 10 U.S.C. Section 130I, and 6 U.S.C. Section 121. The Department of Homeland Security, United States Secret Service, and the Department of Defense may take security action that will result in the interference, disruption, seizure, damaging, or destruction of unmanned aircraft deemed to pose a credible safety or security threat to protected personnel, facilities, or assets. UAS operations are authorized within the defined SSI airspace if in compliance with the published requirements. The FAA recommends you check NOTAMs often for mandatory airspace restrictions prior to operations in the area. In the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a closer look at stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The SpaceX Texas complex saw a wind gust of 50 miles per hour last week that blew the upper nose cone section of the test hopper rocket. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said the damage will take weeks to repair. The ag drone company Micasense sensors say 2018 was a good year and they are in a good spot in the agricultural drone sensor market. The sensors are used by researchers, drone service providers, and growers in the industry. The company's leading sensor, Red Edge, sold thousands of units. The cameras provide growers valuable data about their crops and have been featured in over 100 research publications. Maryland architectural firm Davis, Bowen, and Friedel have announced the addition of in-house UAV drone services. The adoption of the new program will provide for more efficient, safer, and cost-effective drone-based aerial data collection by scanning areas of land in a fraction of the time. Using a high-precision, professional-grade drone to collect photogrammetric data, the UAV services will offer for many unique possibilities for clients. From construction videos, monitoring site progress to post-disaster evaluations, and even enhanced due diligence reports. Fleur Systems has been awarded a contract of $89 million from the French Defense Procurement Agency. They will support the French Operational Rocket Drone Program and will provide the Black Hornet 3 Nano UAV and personal reconnaissance systems to support the French military. The Black Hornet PRS is the world's smallest combat-proven nano UAS and is currently deployed in more than 30 countries. And that was our Unmanned Minute. Pipistrel, the small aircraft designer of specialized electric-powered aircraft, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Honeywell. The partnership will further exploration and development of solutions for the urban air mobility market. The two will work together to integrate Honeywell Avionics, navigation, flight control systems, connectivity, and other beneficial products and services into a future Pipistrel vertical takeoff and landing air vehicle to support fully autonomous operations in the future. Pipistrel was the first to fly an electric two-seater in 2007 and in 2011 won the NASA Green Flight Challenge in their electric four-seat airplane. The Pipistrel Vertical Solutions team has designed eight electric aircraft since 2007. The company holds an EASA design, production, and maintenance organizational approval and have developed aircraft propulsion systems for NASA and Simmons Aircraft. 
Newark drone may have been another false alarm as hysteria continues to light up the news. Reports of a drone flying near Teterboro Airport last week caused delays at Newark of about 20 minutes, but they may have just been another false alarm. The FAA said it had been unable to confirm the sightings which were reported by a Southwest and United Airlines pilot, and they will continue to work with local law enforcement to find additional evidence. The objects were initially spotted about nine miles from airspace used by aircraft on approach. While the pilots and many others immediately said drone, others said not so fast. Brendan Schulman, a spokesperson for DJI, said that it's very unlikely that the pilot saw a UAV. The object was reportedly flying at 3,500 feet, and while that is possible, Schulman said it is highly unlikely it was a drone. Cases where objects reported as a drone turned out just to be a balloon, a bat, and even a plastic grocery bag. Well, that wraps up our show for this week. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at aero-news.net. Check out our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't forget to follow us on social media and for real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime, go on over to aero-news.net and more information on all things unmanned over at auvsi.org or airborne-unmanned.net. We will see you next week. <music>